So in this video, we're going to be looking at um, how to use Desmos to solve absolute value equations. This is a tool we'll come back to repeatedly during the class, so I want to introduce you guys gradually on how to, how, how to use it and some of its capabilities. Um, this time around, we're going to uh, be solving this absolute value equation. So we have the absolute value of 2 minus x minus 5 is equal to 15. The process for solving this will be the same as what we did in the previous video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down two absolute value of 2 minus x minus 5 and generate a graph of just the absolute value part of it. So what we end up with here is this, um, is this red V shape. Okay. For the other half of the, um, of the equation, we're just going to put in 15. And that's going to put a constant that will just go straight across, the uh, straight across the screen. At least it should. And let's turn it on maybe. y equals 15. There we go. All right. Does this one need to be aligned? Let me make sure that this needs to be aligned. This needs to be aligned. So we're going to define it as y is equal to 15. Don't worry about these other uh, open spots down here. Don't worry about that. We just want this blue line to be generated. So it's going to create a continuous, um, an infinite uh, horizontal line representing that constant value at y is equal to 15. Again, we're just looking for the intersection. So we've got two intersections, just like when we were solving this algebraically. We ended up with two answers when we uh, reduced down the absolute value equations. When we do it graphically, we're also going to end up with um, two, or two answers. So we have a y value at negative 18. And, I'm sorry, we have an x value at negative 18 and another x value at 22. So there we are. So you, this again, this is what you will be generating for your um, for your uh, your snapshot when you guys do your homework assignment. It's the same process. Enter it in. Find the two intersections. Take a screenshot for it. You'll need to do two screenshots because you have two answers. So you'll do one for the first intersection, then one for the second intersection, that you, so that you have them, um, and and then make your submission from there. So yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out with uh, reach out to me uh, via email or whatnot, or come by office hours, and we can, uh, we can discuss what needs to happen from there. Thank you.